there is this massive grid of letters and the letters P, Q, and R are entered into this 20 by 20 table. How many P's, Q's, and R's will appear in this completed table? 20 by 20. Hmm. This is really tricky. So they've got a bunch of lines of just P, Q's, and R. So P, Q, R. Then P, Q, R, and so on. But in this line, you've got Q, R, P. Then Q, R, P, and so on. In this line, you've got R, P, Q, R, P, so on. P, Q, R. P, Q, so on, Q, R, P, Q, R, so on. It seems like we essentially have this, we essentially have this square just keep repeating on and on. So the first line is just Q, R, P, Q, R, P repeating. The second line is Q, R, or P, Q, R. First line is P, Q, R repeating. Second line is P, Q, R, P repeating. The third line is R, P, Q repeating. And then it goes back to the beginning again. P, Q, R, Q, R, P. RPQ and it just keeps going. So the trick for this is let's first find the number of P, Q's, and R's in just the first column, just this column. So there's 20 of these 20 by 20 tables, so there's going to be 20 of these of letters, total letters in this column. The first letter is a P. So it's notice that it's going to be P, Q, R, P, Q, R, so on, P, Q, R. Six of these, so that there's six groups of PQR. So PQR, 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 six of these groups. And then after these six groups, that's a total of 18 letters, there's going to be two letters after that, P and Q. So there's a total of 20 letters, as you can see here. There's six groups of PQR and then PQ. So a total of seven Ps, seven Qs, there's only going to be six R. Why? Well, because there's no R in the final PQ. It's just PQ. So let's write that down. Six P, six Q, or seven P, seven Q, and six R. And as you can see, that adds up to 20 indeed. Now let's look at the second column. The second column is kind of similar, except it's QRP. It's starting QRP instead of PQR. So how do we find out the values in this row? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty much the exact same logic. QRP, QRP, so on. And then this will be six of these groups. I'm not going to write all of them this time. And then QR at the end because there's a total of 20. And this is very similar. There'll be seven Qs because six in the six in these six groups and then one extra. Seven Rs, but only six Ps. And then similarly, the last group will be something very similar. Let's explore what the last group will be. Well, the last group is R P P. Sorry, the last group is R P Q. So last group R P Q. R, P, Q, six of these groups, and then an extra R, P at the end. So seven R's, seven P's, and six Q's. Notice that it's kind of symmetric if you can see. Seven P, seven Q, six R, seven Q, seven R, six P, seven R, seven P, six Q. Okay, but now the question is, how many of these columns, how many of each of these types of columns are there going to be? Well, notice how these columns kind of go cyclically. First, it's PQR column, then QRP, then RPQ, and then back to PQR, QRP, and so on. So it's kind of a similar story. We've got a PQR column. I'm just saying PQR for short, but of course you know that it repeats. And then we've got a QRP column, and then a RPQ column. And this is kind of like another group of three. And then this repeats again. So this is one group, and then we have another group, P, Q, R, Q, R, P, and then R, P, Q. That's another group. And then notice how there's 20 total columns in the entire grid. So if there's 20 total columns, then we can essentially have six of these groups. 
there's six of these groups. Six of these groups where, where each group has one of the of all the different types of columns. And then after that, we would have that there's an additional two columns, which are PQR and QRP. That's that's cool, isn't it? So in total, what do we have here? In total, we have, well, this is a kind of a similar logic to what we did for each of the individual columns, if you remember that. So in total, we would have seven groups of P, Q, R, and then six groups, seven groups of Q, R, P as well, but only six groups of R, P, Q. Because there's six total, there's six groups of each of these three different kinds of columns. And then there's two columns, there's two extra P, there's an extra PQR and QRP columns. So seven PQR columns, seven QRP columns, and six, just six RPQ columns. Make that clear. Okay, and we already discovered that each PQR column had have seven P, seven Q, and six R. So seven PQR column will have 49 P. 49Q and 42R. Each of these QRP columns will have 49Q, 49R, and 42P. Each of these RPQ columns, well, each of them have 7R, 7P, and 6Q, but there's six of the columns. So 42R, 42P, and of course, 36 Q. And now we just add all these values up to get one. And if we add all these values up, we would simply get that there are how many Q are there? Well, there's 49. How many P are there? Let's start off with 49P, 42P, 42P. That sum is 84 plus 49. That's 133P. So 133P. Cool. Now, how many Q? There's 49Q, 49Q over here on the first row. Then we also have that there's 49Q in the second one over there, and then 36Q in the bottom, as you can see. 49, 49, 36. Their sum is 98 plus 36, 134. So 134Q and how many are? Well, that's just 42 plus 49 plus 42. That's also 133. So the answer is 133, 134, 133. And if you look at the option choices, that is C, I believe. So C is the correct answer for this problem. Hope you enjoyed and found this video useful.